General Adhesive Attaching Fixture, General Press Fitting Platform, Charlotte Customized Base Mold Handheld Roller, Phillips Screwdriver, ESD Plastic Tweezers, and Vacuum Cup. Install the rear camera and secure the two B2B connectors. If the B2B connectors are not aligned with the correct positions, align them again and do not press them forcibly. Take one piece of rear camera copper foil and attach it to the back of the rear camera. Remove the remaining thermal gel and use the one milliliter dispenser to dispense new thermal gel. The dispensing position is shown in the figure. Gel amount, two to three maximum units. Secure the right side of the PCBA. Use your left hand to move the camera support and your right hand to press the shield and cover position above the camera B2B connector. Install the cameras into the middle frame positioning slot. Install the lower side of the front camera first. Then install the upper side of the front camera. Secure the front camera B2B connector. Use the ESD plastic tweezers to take a piece of conductive fabric and attach it to the back of the front camera. Align the speaker holes with the LIM dust filter and install the speaker to the front cover. Tilt and insert the subsidiary board into the middle frame slot. Secure the lower left corner of the subsidiary board to the slot at the bottom. Slightly move the subsidiary board to the left to secure it. Locate the connector A position so the short coaxial cable on the PCBA and subsidiary board. Align one of the coaxial cable RF heads with the connector on the subsidiary board. Press the RF head vertically to the connector. The RF head is secured when you hear a snap sound. Do not press hard on the connector once it is secured. Use the tail of the plastic tweezers to sort the cable into the groove. Tilt and secure the USB port on the main FPC to the middle frame buckle. Align the main FPC with the boss rod on the middle frame and install the main FPC to the middle frame. Ensure that the USB port and main FPC assembly are free of tilts and properly secured. Secure the main FPC B2B connector to the subsidiary board and to the PCBA in sequence. Tilt the subsidiary board down to insert it into the middle frame assembly. Secure the LCD and battery B2B connectors in sequence. Tilt the top side of the PCBA support and insert the support into the slot on the middle frame. Align the support with the positioning rod and press the support to secure it. Use the Phillips screwdriver to remove the 19 screws from the middle frame. If you use an electric screwdriver, set the torque to a value between 0.9 to 1.1 kilogram force per centimeter. Use the PH0000 Phillips screwdriver bit. Use the adhesive attaching fixture to attach the adhesive to the rear cover. Ensure that the adhesive is properly attached without deviation. Secure the proximity sensor B2B connector and remove the release paper from the adhesive. Align the rear cover with the middle frame and install the rear cover from its bottom to top. Press the edges evenly. Ensure that the rear cover is free of tilts, deviation, and exposed adhesive. Install the card tray and remove the protective film from the TP. Inspect the device appearance for scratches. Use the press fitting base mold to perform the following operations. Place the assembled device in the base mold and place the base mold into the general press fitting platform. Rotate the handle of the press fitting platform till the handle cannot be rotated. Wait for around two minutes and take out the device. Use the handheld roller wheel to perform the following operations. Align the middle of the roller wheel with one edge of the rear cover. Properly tilt the roller wheel to fit the rear cover. Roll the roller wheel on each edge evenly for 5 seconds for 4 times. Assembly is complete. Thanks for watching.